Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Liam, and in today's video, we will be talking about what shoes should you wear in your workouts. But before I start the video, if you guys haven't yet subscribed, please go and subscribe, and also hit the like button for this video. So, um, question of the video: What shoes should I wear? in my workouts so there are tons of different footwear out there but today i'm just going to discuss the four most popular footwear in the gym so the first one on the list is going to be your worst option and that is your running shoes so um, i've been lifting in this pair of shoes for almost a year and a half right now and I decide to change it because running shoes are very very bad for powerlifting because the sole this their sole are made of rubber so it's soft it's not stable and it's compressible so if you have a soft unstable and compressible sole what happens is when you are squatting or deadlifting heavy you are not having a very stable and strong base when you are trying to push your legs into the ground when you are squatting or deadlifting you are actually pushing against the cushion in the sole which makes it very very hard so if you don't get what I say try it out try um, squatting or deadlifting on the mattress and you will see how difficult it is to work out on a unstable um, base versus when you are squatting or deadlifting on a concrete floor where it's stable it's hard and it's uncompressible so recently i decided to change these shoes i decided to take away these shoes from my lifting and I decided to buy a new pair a, another pair of shoes which is much more better for lifting so if you have these pair of shoes or any type of running shoes with a rubber sole and you are focusing on strength and performance in the gym you can just throw these shoes away and get a new pair now the second type of footwear are those fancy schmancy Olympic weightlifting shoes so I don't have a pair with me because I don't have the money I am young dumb and broke so I'll just show you guys a picture of it so um, what's good about these shoes is that they eliminate all the disadvantages all the weak points of a running shoe so they have a strong base a very hard base because it's made of hard plastic or wood which is not compressible and it's a very stable and hard base for you to press against so it's a really really good investment that you should have if you have the money so the downside of it is that these shoes are very very expensive in Malaysia I think it costs you around 600 ringgit to get one pair and it's not easy to find these shoes in the market and another thing that I don't like about these shoes is that it's not a multi-purpose shoe it's made just for lifting so if you want to do cardio or you prefer to walk to the gym you sh you must have another shoe that you can change because wearing these shoes it's not um, it's not good it doesn't feel natural for you to walk in it so you have to bring with you another pair of shoes to interchange now my third option for you is going to be chuck 
tailors. So these are the new pair that I got um, last week. So I decided to change to Chucks and throw away my running shoes in the gym because Chucks are the best. They are the number one low budget lifting shoes. If you are really serious into lifting and you don't have the money to buy those fancy um, weightlifting shoes, Chucks, these are your number one choice. So why I say Chucks are the best because they have a very very um, flat sole so you have no elevation in them and it is very hard it's not made of completely rubber so it's somehow uncompressible and you can squat and deadlift heavy in these shoes people might say that it's not a workout shoe but a lot of world records out there are are made in this type of shoes so don't freak out don't be afraid to work out in these shoes so i just got these i think a few days ago but don't worry i will make a full on review video on these shoes so do subscribe so you guys don't miss it now the fourth type of footwear is these lifting barefoot and i have been lifting barefoot for two months right now because i don't want to um, lift in running shoes and at that point i haven't get my tailors my chucks yet so i just have to lift barefoot the reason why barefoot is the best is that when you're lifting barefoot you will have a pretty strong grip on the floor which is really good for deadlift and you are pressing against a very hard stable and uncompressible surface which is the earth so it will be easier for you to squat in barefoot but the downside of it is most of the gyms out there won't allow you to work out in barefoot so you still have to wear something and that something will be either um, Chuck Taylors or Olympic weightlifting shoes or any type of sneakers with a flat sole will do the job so that's all for this video guys hope you guys like this video if you guys find this video interesting please give this video a thumbs up Comment down below if you have any questions and also subscribe if you haven't and if you have friends who are struggling with footwear in the gym, do share this video with them and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace! If you won't give it to me, I'ma take it. Take it.